Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following example. Number eight, a radio antenna is stabilized by two guy wires. One guy wire is 100 meters in length and is attached to the top of the antenna. The wire makes an angle of 60 degrees with the ground. One end of the second guy wire is attached to the ground at the same point as the first guy wire. The other end is attached to the antenna such that the wires make an angle of 45 degrees with the ground. Determine an exact expression for the distance between the points where the two guy wires are attached to the antenna. Step one, I'm gonna draw this diagram again, and I'm gonna write down 100 meters. I'll draw the second wire like that. And this is gonna be 45 degrees, and this angle is gonna be 60 degrees. So the question is asking for this measurement right here, and we can call this X. Now, let's draw this out again. Let's break this, let's chunk this into two smaller, or not two smaller, but two separate triangles. So again, there's the first triangle, there's the second triangle. Again, going back to the idea that this is 100 meters, this is gonna be 60 degrees. So you can call this A. And if you think about the smaller triangle, that's gonna be 45 degrees, and we can call this B. So now you can go back and say, to find X, isn't that the same as saying A minus B? So if we know what is A and what is B, then we can solve for X. So I'm gonna introduce another unknown. So in addition to A and B, I can also call this C. Now let's go back, let's start with A. Let's zoom out for a moment, here we go. So if you think about opposite over hypotenuse, that's gonna be sine, so sine of 60 degrees, it's gonna be A divided by 100. So A is gonna be 100 sine 60. And I'm gonna come back to this. I'm just gonna put a box around this right now. And if I think about C, you can think about adjacent over hypotenuse. So again, cosine of 60 degrees is gonna be C divided by 100. C is exactly 100 cosine 60 degrees. Again, let's put a box around this. Now, if I go back and I think about this second triangle, isn't it true that they're both the same? Meaning if C is 100 cosine 60 in the first triangle, then this is also 100 cosine 60 in the second triangle. If you think about this a little bit more, cosine 60, by the way, is exactly half. So you can think of this as 50. So I can even go back and say C equals to 50, which is gonna help you a little bit in terms of this next step. So I'm gonna erase all this. And I'm just gonna label this as 50. So this equals to 50. Now I go back, again, if you think about opposite over um, hypotenuse, that's gonna be 10 of 45 degrees. Now really, if you think about it, B should be 50, but if you write down uh, 10 of 45, which is opposite over adjacent, then B is gonna be 50 times 10 of 45. And if you think about that, 10 of 45, by the way, is exactly one. So B is gonna be 50. So now we go back to the beginning. Your goal is to find X, and X is gonna be A minus B. A is gonna be 100 sine 60 degrees. B is gonna be 50, and the key is to leave this in exact form. So if you go back to sine of 60, and again, you can either use a calculator if you really have to, you can do mental math. You can also grab the special triangle, but sine of 60 is exactly root three over two. So now if you express this in exact form, this equals to, I'll draw a little arrow here, x is gonna be 50 root three minus 50, and I'll put this in brackets and write down the word units. Again, you can leave it in this form. Sometimes you can also leave it in factor form. If you wanna factor the 50 to the front and make it root three minus one, that is equally mathematically right, just like that. If you find this video meaningful, it's adding value to your math life, please consider to comment, like, share, and subscribe. I hope this makes sense.